The other day I was driving my car listening to the radio and an ad came on talking about a certain popular real estate investor who was coming to town to teach a free seminar about building wealth through real estate. 100% free to attend, the advertisement said. Now, I'm sure you've probably heard these ads on the radio or maybe you've seen ads pop up on your Facebook or on your Instagram feed or before a YouTube video. So, what's the deal with these? Well, it's a really common and effective way for these real estate investor educators to make a lot of money. I'm Brandon Turner from biggerpockets.com and in this video, I'm gonna break open the secret world of real estate education and explain when you shouldn't and when you should maybe pay for real estate education. All right, so here's how this guru trap, as we like to call it, works. First, you get invited to one of these free seminars. Almost all the time, the real estate celebrity whose face was all over the advertisement won't actually be there, just some sales guy who's on stage who's really, really, really good at selling. Now keep in mind, they're actually teaching how to invest in real estate at these seminars, but they're usually showing you what's possible. They want you to get a thirst for a better life. They know all the right buttons to press, all the right emotions, to tweak and the psychological tricks to get you to do one simple thing. Sign up for the next level of education, which is usually in the form of a weekend boot camp for a semi reasonable price, usually like a few hundred bucks. This, for the real estate educator, is really a way to filter all those out who don't have the funds to make a larger purchase, which is what the weekend boot camp is usually about. So you go to the weekend boot camp and then you'll likely learn a little bit more, but more of that event is just focused on the next upsell, usually a 20 or 30 or 50,000, even $100,000 coaching or education platform that they have. And let me tell you, they are really, really good at getting people to pay those kinds of money. That kind of money? those kind of money. Now, is any of this wrong? Well, not necessarily. I know a number of investors who have become successful after paying a hefty amount for coaching and training. But I also know many more who have succeeded wildly without the help of that guru crowd. What drives me nuts is the number of individuals I hear from who spent that 30 or that 50 or $100,000 to learn how to invest and then they discover that the information they learn is already out there, usually for free, or you might pay for a book or a podcast or have to do a Google search. Like some of these individuals were pressured into putting this expensive training onto credit cards. Like even being pushed to negotiate with their credit card companies to raise their credit card limits. It's an investment in your future, the guru says. And sure, it could be, right? But here's the thing. I've noticed this over and over. Every single person that I know who succeeded with the help of some expensive training, I believe they would have done so without that training. They just have the mindset and the work ethic to make it happen anyway. And those who I know who haven't paid for education and they've not found success, no amount of coaching or expensive training was gonna help them. Right? And here's the real kicker. Something that might make you a little uncomfortable to hear. You ready for this? I believe most people who pay for expensive coaching and training do so because it makes them feel like they're taking action. It makes them feel like they're making progress. It makes them feel like they're getting closer to their goal but usually they're going backwards. In other words, expensive real estate education is nothing but an excuse not to take action. So here is my challenge to you. If you've got a lot of credit card debt, you're struggling financially, do not pay for expensive coaching and training. Instead, prove to yourself that you have what it takes by taking real action. So grab a pen and write these six things down. Number one, listen to 100 episodes of a real estate podcast. Obviously, I'd recommend the Bigger Pockets podcast because of the incredibly handsome and talented host. Uh, and there's also like 7,000 plus five star reviews and 60 million downloads. But really, there's a ton of great real estate shows out there. So listen to something, 100 episodes. Number two, read 15 real estate investing books, minimum. Number three, engage in at least 100 conversations over on the Bigger Pockets forums. It's free. Number four, take a dozen real estate investors out to lunch or coffee over the next few months. Not all together, that'd be weird. Number five, analyze 100 real estate deals. Walk through a dozen open houses and attend at least three real estate meetups in your area. And number six, be sure you are living responsibly by spending 70% of or less of what you earn. Cut your expenses, kill your Netflix if you have to. Whoa, after all that, if you still think you need coaching and training and you have the money in cash, not credit, then sure, go for it. You know, 
but you're probably thinking, that's gonna take a long time, Brandon, to do all those things. Now you're getting it. Real estate investing takes work. It takes passion, it takes persistence, and it takes time. You do the things, the six things I just mentioned, and then I'll believe that you've got what it takes to actually succeed. Now, that's not to say coaching and training doesn't have a place in the industry or in your future. Like look, even Tiger Woods, arguably the best golfer in the world, has a golf coach. Coaches or mentors can be incredibly helpful in answering questions, allowing someone to really break through mental barriers, uh, hold each other accountable to action steps, or even like work alongside you on a deal. And some of these individuals are very knowledgeable and there are plenty of stories of people out there who have paid money to a coach or a paid mentor and found incredible success. Maybe the hand holding is just what you need, but be careful. Do your homework on the educator, and of course, check out Bigger Pockets forums to kind of do some of that research, and then don't get caught up in the hype or the promise of secrets. There aren't any secrets. Just hard work, passion, persistence, repeat. The point I'm making is this. Before throwing money at someone else in hopes that they're gonna make you successful, understand that success comes from within first. In today's world, and largely thanks to the Bigger Pockets real estate investing community, information has been democratized. In other words, the information you need is out there. It's ripe for the taking. You don't need to pay 30 grand to some national guru that you'll probably never even meet to tell you how to find real estate deals or how to get funding or how to structure your business, right? So to conclude this video, I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes from the late, great Jim Rohn. I quote him all the time because I love this stuff. If you really want something, you'll find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. Now, if you like this video, can you do me a favor? Click that little thumbs up button and of course, follow us here on the Bigger Pockets channel. For biggerpockets.com, my name is Brandon Turner, signing off.